So guys, what I want to do is if you guys have any issues or questions, please pop out, pop them, you know, but I am recording my screen also. So my screen is recording right now. And uh, so let me go ahead. I don't know why it's showing it, but um, okay. What I'm going to do though, guys, is I am going to share with you what I'm doing to put these videos. So last night, those of you that saw my scope last night, I did a scope where I did a meditative, a meditation, meditative. My I did a meditation and I took the video and I uploaded it onto a template and from there I uploaded it to my to my YouTube channel. So what you guys are looking at right now is my YouTube channel, okay? Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is I am going to put this tutorial also on my blog, which is onlinewithmichelle.com. And this tutorial is really high value. So, you know, guys, if you guys appreciate this, please give me the hearts. Just tap on the screen because this is, this is absolutely awesome stuff. So right now, guys, this is my video. So watch what happens when I play the video, okay? No, I do not use royalty-free music. That's why I turn the music down. So um, I don't do any music. Well, I have royalty-free music that I have with my editing software. So thank you. Thank you so much for the hots. Appreciate that. And if I miss your comments, I promise I'll go back. And if there's a question that I can answer in another scope or what have you, I promise I will get to all your questions. But if you watch this video right now, I'm going to play it. Okay, so this is my YouTube, you guys. This is my YouTube, and my I put my video in on top of this template, okay? So, as you can see, what I did is I created this. It, this is basically an image, you guys. And I put this information on here. In fact, and if right here, guys, if you hover over this, you can even click here to subscribe to my channel. And I have it set up so that whenever you click there, it actually will um, prompt you to subscribe to my channel as well, which has drastically improved my, uh, increased my subscriptions. Um, and that's a separate tutorial altogether. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I am show, gonna show you how to create, well, first of all, this is what prompted me to create this. I went to Fiverr. All right, because I saw somebody have a really cool template. And there's a gal on Fiverr, right? And, you know, bless her heart, I know that she's got lots of talent because she is she's actually sharing a gig, right, on how to create these templates. And I thought to myself, I could create that. And so, guys, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. And you know what? This could be something you can go to Fiverr and offer this as a service as well. I mean, look at these different templates, okay? So these are some of the templates that she's created, you know, that you can go in and pay $5 or pay $10, and she'll create it for you in a day, okay? But I'm going to show you how I took this idea and I created it myself. So the first thing you guys need to do, so you guys might want to get a pen and paper, Okay, because this is uh, this is going to be a lot of really good information. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the video, the image is large enough. So I went, you know, Google is your best friend, right? So you want to make sure that you set your image to be 1280 by 720 as a minimum. Okay, so if anybody has any corrections on that, let me know. But I set this up as a 1280 by 720 minimum. And then what I did, guys, is I went to Canva, canva.com. Okay, so I went to canva.com. And all I did, guys, is um, I created an image. And if you go to Canva, in fact, let me just create a whole new, um, I'm going to go to canva.com. And, and what you do, guys, is you go to canva.com and you can click use custom division, uh, dimensions, okay? And then what you do is you put 1280 by 720, okay? So I put 1280 by 720. I love Canva too. This is amazing. All right, so 1280 by 720. Now, I go to, go to uploads. Now, what I did, guys, is I had some images, like I had this image, this this just very basic image. You can do different images. You can buy an image. You can get other images, you know, from other places. And all I did was I uploaded this background image right here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to click it and I'm going to add it to this 1280 by 720. So as you can see, I'm just adding this background image. Okay, so I just added the background image. Oops, oops, sorry. Sorry about that, guys. So I just added the background image, right? Now what I'm going to do is 
all I have to do guys is I add this is all in Canva okay so let me show you what what the final result was is I added if you can see this here this is a circle that I created okay I just added the circle I just added the circle okay I grabbed a couple of images I uploaded a periscope image a Twitter image and then I added the text right I added the text and then um, I added my uh, my handles and here click here to subscribe this is a powerful little technique you guys where whenever you upload this to YouTube this is a great way to get more subscribers and I'll show you how to do that in a second actually I might have to do that in a separate tutorial um, and then also I threw my website on there right then what you do guys is once you make it look like the way you want it to then all you do is just download it okay so I downloaded it now what I did after that is I have a guys this oh my gosh this software and I hope I can use it while I'm recording the screen oh my gosh so I love about live right okay there's this uh, there is something called Wondershare Filmora now guys I have editing software I have the Camtasia editing software but if you guys 1280 by 720 thank you thank you Lisa thank you so much now if you guys are on a limited budget um, I have a separate tutorial if you guys want that it's on my blog online with michelle.com but this is a cheap it's Filmora okay and it's so stinking easy to use I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you from scratch how I did this so let me go to new project so I'm just gonna go to a whole new project okay and I absolutely love using this because it's like 19 bucks for a year it's so cheap alright so it's opening up Filmora okay Wondershare Filmora um, no I don't want to um, recover okay so what I'm doing guys is I'm creating a new movie okay here we go I'm doing it in 16 by 9 format I am gonna go in the full feature mode okay and right now if you look here here is what it looks like okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, import that image but I've already got the image you know what let me do it again just to show you so what I did guys is on this right here you download it as an image right so I'm going to download download my canva as an image so it's downloading as an image all of this you guys I used with free tools so this was free this whole template I just used the 1280 by 720 pixel size and I'm saving it on uh, let's see what do I call it um, all right this is called follow me on as by default so I'm just gonna leave it like that just for ease of use all right so I downloaded the image now I'm back here on the Filmora okay and this is how I do it you guys you import let me go to my images Um, I think it was called follow me right let me grab it real quick okay here it is okay I, it just pulled that image now I've got the video now this is the video so you here's the video you guys first thing I'm gonna do first thing I'm gonna do is I've got the image right here okay this is so awkward because I'm I'm doing this live and <laughs> This is not um, in landscape mode. This is this video. This video is in portrait mode. So I have to kind of go back and forth, <laughs> which is kind of funny. So what I'm going to do is over here on the image, I'm going to right click and I'm going to add it to the clip. Okay. So what it just did is it added it to the clip. I'm going to extend it. Okay. So I'm going to extend it to, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes or something even though the video wasn't that long the video was only like six minutes okay so I extended the clip and now I've got the video and I right click and it right here second one down it says apply to PIP so I what it did is if you look what just happened okay let me delete that and show you what just happened so I clicked on I right clicked on the video right right clicked apply to PIP and it's going to pop it on top of the image boom see that right there there it is and when I play it there it is you guys there is the video playing on the image 
So basically now what I, all I want to do now is I just want to go over here and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I can see it. And all I want to do is I want to click on the image and make sure it's lined up with the ending of the video. And I'm not going to edit the video or anything, but basically they're now the exact same time distance. So we're looking at the very beginning. So now if I play this, you guys, when I play it, I don't know if you can see it, but there's the video. And there it is. There's the video, you guys, on the template. So now all I have to do once I edit the video itself, and if there's some tweaks I want to do to it, if I want to add some text over it, which I did, absolutely, which I actually did do, um, you can do that. And then what you do is then you just export it, and boom, it's on this template. How cool is that? So back to my video, I uploaded it to YouTube, you guys, and here it is. And if you look at it, okay. Here's the video, and when you play it, okay, I added some text, right? You're watching me do a live Periscope in my car. But what's cool about this, guys, is when somebody is watching a video. Now, I did, I did choose this to do this, you guys, with certain keywords. I actually went after the keywords meditation techniques for beginners. And so, you know what? When people type in that keyword, then, you know, when they find my video on YouTube, you guys, you know they're going to be able, they're going to know what my periscope handle is my twitter handle my website and right here they can click here to subscribe and when you click when you hover over that and you click on it it's going to go straight to my channel for them to subscribe okay so does anybody want to know anything else does anybody have any questions did you guys think that was cool <laughs> I know I kind of like was winging it, you guys. I'm going to totally have to redo the video. In fact, what I'm going to probably do is I'm showing this on Periscope live, but what you guys want to do is you want to go to onlinewithmichelle.com and make sure you're a subscriber because I'm going to tweak this video and I'm going to do I'm going to do a full-blown tutorial without all the you know without all the mess ups and I'm gonna it's gonna be a nicer put together video and I will upload that to my blog and then I will send you an email telling you when it's up so that you will know exactly how to do this with step-by-step -step tutorials. So, okay guys, I just wanted to share that with you. This was a huge nugget. This is a great way, you guys, to share your Periscope videos, um, make them look a lot more professional than just uploading the apps, the, you know, the actual videos. Wouldn't you agree? Actually, it is something that I downloaded from the internet, the Filmora software. Did you add the and subscribe to the YouTube link? Um, do you want to know how I did that, you guys, since you're here? Do you want me to show you how I, how I did that? I added the clicker to subscribe on Canva. Okay, I'll go ahead and show that to you real quick. Okay, first of all, I added it as text, okay? I added it as text just by going over here to text, okay? So if you're not very familiar with Canva, I just added the text. I just clicked on the text and then I, I moved it over and I just added it right there, okay? And then what I did, guys, is when I upload the video, when you upload the video itself, the way to make something clickable, okay? Now, this is clickable to another YouTube link, which is my, which is my channel, right? So what you want to do is actually you need to edit the video. So I'm going to go to my videos real quick. Hold on just a second. And I'll show you how I did that. If it will let me. Video manager. Okay, I'm going to edit this video. Okay, here's the video. Okay, now I'm in edit mode. Okay, this is so easy, you guys. This is another nugget. This is huge. <laughs> Um, what you're going to do is right here you click on annotations, okay? So click on annotations. And then what you want to do is right from the very beginning, right from the very beginning, at the very beginning of the video, okay? So I clicked on annotations. And what you want to do is you want to add an annotation, okay? And then what I did is I believe that that was a, I believe that was a uh, note. Yes, I clicked on note, all right? And what, what this is, guys, is it's a note, and then right down here is a link. 
And what you want to do is you want to put the link to your channel to subscribe to your channel. Now, I've got a hack that if they click on that link before they, what will happen is when they click on that link, it automatically will prompt them to subscribe. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my channel. So let me go to my channel real quick. Okay. So here's my channel. Okay. So let me grab the URL to my channel right there. I'm going to copy that. Okay. So now I'm back here to the annotation and I'm going to, in the link, I'm going to copy my link and then I'm going to check mark open the link in a new window. Okay. And then what's going to happen is if the actual video, the actual window is right here. And what you want to do is you want to drag it to where it says click here. Okay. This is actually, I'm in the edit portion of a YouTube video. Ariel, I think that's what your name was. I'm kind of like doing this and looking at my phone at the same time. So what I did, Ariel, is you might want to watch this from the beginning. Um, but what, what I'm doing is I'm now showing you how to create this click here to subscribe. Okay, so you have to go to the video and edit your video. Okay, so after you publish your video, you edit it by adding an annotation. And so now what I'm doing is I'm adding this annotation or I'm adding a note. All right, so right now it's a note. And I'm going to go over here to the settings. I'm going to make that see-through. I'm going to change the color so it's not alright so basically okay then what you want to do is if you look down here see I already have it created but what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to extend it all the way through the whole video alright and what it's going to do guys and let me you can save it and then what we'll do and I'm not going to save it because I've already done it so let me delete it if it will let me yeah let me just click the delete button here all right so let me show you again let me show you the actual video so here's the video I'm just gonna play it and right here now it's clickable see so when you click on it it opens in a new window and if you have never subscribed to my channel before it'll have a pop-up that will say click here to subscribe that's a really cool hack that a lot of people don't know about and it's on my um, it is on my blog and I will um, when I upload this to my blog tonight, this video tutorial, I will give you a link to that post that will show you how to create that pop-up because it's really powerful. So, okay guys, did you guys get some value out of that? I hope you did. My website is onlinewithmichelle.com. I'll go to it now to show you. Onlinewithmichelle.com and right, on, right at the very beginning, right there guys, right there, you can put in your name and email and you'll be a subscriber online with michelle.com I hope you got some value out of that so that's what I look like <laughs> guys if you have not subscribed to my periscope um, I just want to tell you that I am actually now that I'm done with this tutorial I am going to show you another hack tonight and what it is is a lot of times when you guys do a periscope when you do a periscope it automatically will save to your phone, right? And then you upload it from your phone, maybe to a Dropbox account, and then you download it to your Facebook or your YouTube channel. But guys, every once in a while, it will not save to your phone. And there's no way that you can actually, uh, you know, unless you plug it in and you're you doing all sorts of funky stuff. I found a hack that will show you how to download your videos from your computer, like from your replay to your computer, all from your PC. I'm going to show you how to do that in a little bit, okay? So, all right, guys, I am going to let you go. I hope you got some value out of that. Leave me some hearts if you did. If you're watching the replay, thank you so much. Go ahead, tap on the screen, leave me some hearts, and make sure you subscribe. Make sure you're a follower, and I will go check out your channel, and if you guys are doing scopes, I will make sure I follow you back. Awesome. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, guys, go to onlinewithmichelle.com, subscribe. I will upload this tonight, and you guys will get mega value from it. Thank you so much. We'll chat with you soon.